Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a conversation on the telephone with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. The two leaders discussed the latest developments in the region, noting the strong fraternal ties between the two countries and peoples to achieve their interests in all fields. His Majesty affirmed Egypt's leading role and effective efforts to maintain Middle East security and stability and supporting Arab causes. President al Sisi expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty the King, stressing the strong bilateral ties wishing his majesty lasting good health and happiness and Bahrain for the progress and prosperity his Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received representatives council speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal and Shura chairman Ali bin Salah Salah his Royal Highness praised the role of the council of representatives and the Shura council in national action progress his Royal Highness the premier praised the lawmakers monitoring and legislative role reaffirming keenness to boost the cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to overcome difficulties and transmute obstacles into drivers of more work and dedicate, dedication, all our efforts to serve the nation and citizens. His Royal Highness welcomed the continuous meetings with lawmakers lauding the legislature's role in increasing the government parliament cooperation and facilitating additional accomplishments to boost the MPs' monitoring and legislative role and create atmosphere to strengthen the cooperation to achieve the shared aspirations. His Royal Highness reviewed with the Speaker and the Shura Chairman various topics pertaining to the executive to legislative cooperation and the demand of the present phase of everyone to shoulder their responsibilities utilizing the available resources and potentials. The speaker expressed sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the executive cooperation with the Representatives Council, lauding his personal follow-up of such cooperation as well as his directives to boost it through coordination. Zainal hailed His Royal Highness the Premier's exemplary approach as the school went to learn from his wisdom and expertise for the earnest patriotic service. As Saleh hailed His Royal Highness's continuous uh, fruitful support to the ideal cooperation between the executive and legislative bodies to achieve the shared aspirations, asserting that His Royal Highness the Premier is the principal supporter of the government to parliament cooperation for which he has laid the strong foundations. The Representatives Council's Bureau held its fifth meeting in the first ordinary annual session of the fifth legislative term under the chairmanship of Council Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The Bureau lauded the meeting held last Wednesday by the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, with the Speaker of the Representatives Council and the Chairman of the Shura Council, along with a number of members of the two councils. The Bureau expressed sincere appreciation to the efforts exerted by Her Royal Highness that strive for the elevation of Bahraini women's status as an active partner in the Comprehensive Development March under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. During the session, the session approved the formation of a joint committee between the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Representatives Council, as well as the restructuring of the Coordination Committee between the Supreme Council for Women and the Legislative Authority. The Shura Council held its seventh ordinary session of the fifth legislative term under the chairmanship of the Council Chairman Ali bin Salah al Salah, where a number of decrees and proposals were discussed regarding laws concerning the various fields of work in the kingdom. The Council, following a deliberation, approved it to a draft law concerning the amendment of Article No. 4 of Law No. 28 for the year 2006 concerning the future generations reserve submitted by the Council of Representatives in a modified form. The Council also approved a draft amending Article 14 of Decree Law No. 21 of the year 2000 concerning private health institutions, which will have an effective role in facing the unemployment of more than 500 doctors, technicians and Bahraini nurses. 
The Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs, Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated the third International Renewable Energy Conference themed Green Cities, Sustainable Buildings and Renewable Energy, organized by the Kingdom University in the UK. The event was attended by heads of companies, senior officials and specialists and more than 150 participants from industrial companies and government bodies in Bahrain. Mirza presented a visual demonstration on energy efficiency and renewable energy in Bahrain, as well as the national goals adopted by the government in that regard to reach certain rates of energy efficiency and renewable energy by 2025 and forming a national committee led by the minister and a number of senior government officials. The minister added that the government followed the Green Building Guide, which specifies optional terms alongside the mandatory terms that an institute can implement in their buildings to make it environmentally friendly. Members of the Finance and Economic Affairs Committee of the Shura Council approved the amendment of Draft Law Number 284 regarding Commercial Companies Law of the Decree Number 21 of 2001. The committee reached a modified and adequate version of the proposed law within a national legislative framework that goes in line with the development commercial companies are witnessing, providing them with laws that facilitate its procedures and operations. The committee also discussed Decree Number 55 of 2018 regarding electronic transferable records in the presence of representatives from the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Central Bank of Bahrain, which comes within a number of decrees that were referred to the Legislative Authority for further discussions. Bahrain Defense Force concluded today the Hamad III joint drill which is carried out by the BDF with the participation of jet fighters and warships of the Egyptian Armed Forces. The ceremony was attended by Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The drill carried out exercises that aimed for boosting combat proficiency and operational and tactical capabilities via the exchange of expertise and field skills between the participating forces and the various aspects of combat operations, as well as raising the combat readiness to tackle any threats in battlefields. The Indian Embassy in Bahrain celebrated India's 70th Republic Day, hosting a flag hoisting ceremony in the attendance of over 200 members of the Indian and Bahraini community. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Indians in the kingdom are celebrating their country's 70th Republic Day with a wave of patriotic zest and enthusiasm. The Indian Embassy hosted a flag hoisting ceremony marking the anniversary of the country's constitution coming into effect. The Indian ambassador unfurled the national flag at the premises, followed by a rendition of the national song. The ambassador also read out a Republic Day speech which emphasized India's pluralism and inclusiveness. Celebrate 70th Republic Day of India. Feeling really proud to be here for the great celebrations happening over there. Uh, all the kids are performing really well and Mr. Amba Alok Sinha, the ambassador, gave us a president's speech. A very proud moment for us to be here and celebrate this day. Uh, on the occasion of the 70th Republic Day of India, uh, we visited uh, the embassy and the celebration has been good. And we, have, we are seeing a lot of different cultural and traditional dances and programs here. And the speech was also rendered well. Uh, so we are enjoying it. As a family, we are here and we are enjoying it very much. In the presence of over 200 members of the Indian Bahaini community and Friends of India, celebrations were kicked off by a group of students from Indian curriculum schools in the kingdom, artists and community members that paid a tribute to their culture in various and colorful folk dance and music performances celebrating India. Wish everyone 17th uh, Republic Day of India. I thank Indian Embassy, Indian Government, Bahrain Government, in fact, the entire Bahrain wishing a very uh, this Republic Day to everyone. Today we are enjoying our uh, 17th Republic Day in Bahrain. So we have enjoyed in Indian Embassy too much and uh, Jai Hind, Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Happy Republic Day. Just I can say feeling proud to be an Indian. It's a great occasion. We are celebrating Indian Republic Day in Bahrain. 
It's a great occasion. We are very feeling, feeling very happy, very proud to be an Indian. And I love Bahrain. Happy Indo-Bahrain relationship. Patriotic fever ran high as the Indian ambassador extended the heartiest congratulations to the Indian community in the kingdom and complimented them for their commendable and remarkable roles in strengthening the bilateral relations between the two countries. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.